Hello and welcome to On Our TV. Now I'm out on the decking, just fiddling around with my bike parts and uh, cleaning the bike. And while I'm out here, I just want to show to show you how confiding some of the wildlife is in the garden. And I've said this before, but this is basically about trust. And these animals in the garden, a lot of them get used to me being around. They get used they get used to my voice. And uh, this is a little wood mouse that is stealing the peanuts I've put out for the badger. And <laughs> he's literally just a few feet away from me now. He's just disappeared a bit. And, uh, what's interesting is as I'm sat here I can hear field fares and I think they must be flying overhead. It's surprising how many birds move around at night. So here's our little chappy here. And he's only a young little mouse. Hello mate, come on then. You're okay. As long as I'm here, you're safer than you'll ever be in this garden. Wood mice are just beautiful creatures. As I've said before, they can be a bit destructive if they get in the garage. But they're such pretty little mice. And they live all around the garden. And uh, I've kind of learnt to live with them because you can't stop them getting into the garage or into the shed. At the moment I've managed to avoid them going in, into the workshop. So uh, I just make sure that I don't leave any food lying around in any of the uh, buildings and I definitely make sure I keep the back door shut because we don't really want this little chappy in the house. So it looks like he's going to come over. Come on then. There he is. There he is. He nearly ran under my feet just now. He's probably storing these peanuts. And of course, the thing is, I've been putting out peanuts for the badgers for the last week, and actually, the badgers haven't uh, haven't been coming in, coming in. And you'll notice that I've been putting a stone on top of the badger bowl and I've, I've strategically weighted the stone over to one side so if uh, if a badger does um, come in it'll very easily be able to uh, move that stone but on the morning if he's not had his if he's not been in typically the uh, wood pigeons or the squirrel raid it and I don't want to be wasting money with pigeons and squirrels. So, uh, lovely little creatures. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching Wild Owl TV. See you again soon.